Welcome to another Enjoying Art lesson. If you're a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. If you want to learn about the technique of using these two brushes, now you can come to enjoyingart.com brushes. Now let's start this painting. We need to do some drawing. Start from here. I'm going to look at the whole shape from here all the way to here. This is the wing closer to us. We have to see how we use this space first. And I'm going to see the water splashes where the bird taking off from. If you like this composition, and then we're going to start doing the proportion. All right, we are ready to start masking. Making sure that you get everything in the artwork that you want to include already considered. We're going to start going into the masking. I'm using this Windsor & Newton masking fluid. Okay, that should be good enough. I'm going to use my calligraphy brush to do the masking. So get the soap inside the brush. Okay, sharpen it. Let go the excess uh, soap. All right, where I'm going to start? Uh, slowly up to you. I'm going to start from this, the end of this wing. Okay, just start over here. Push it down the same way that you're going to paint. Look first, so you have a second chance to correct things. I'm going to. Push it down, like how you paint the end of the wing, the feather. I'm going to push it down again. I'm going to take a look at the mouth. Here we go. Push it down and move it. Take a look at the leg. I'm going to just paint it, push it down. Don't paint it too big. Okay, push it down. Take a look at the shape and take a look on this side. Uh, this leg and push it down a little bit and get the shape a little bit bigger. That's good. The rest of those small water brushes, I'm going to use a two brush. So I'm going to clean this brush first. So this brush is clean and ready for next project. And I'm going to get the masking for it to see. If we can splash some small, I'm going to need to look closely. Okay, there's a lot of this. I can see that I have something. I want to splash it good enough over here. That's what we create some very small. Uh, Dots. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna clean my tool brush. It dries before I come back to start painting the background. I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom. Now I'm gonna start from the top. I'm using this one inch fry brush. And after you use a while, the white color will turn into the gray color. But it's okay, you still can be able to see what color you have in the brush and take a look at, I'm going to have a little bit brownish color in the top. So I'm going to get a little bit red. So I'm going to have the, have the brown color like this, right on the top over here. Okay, start over here. That's good. That's the top. I'm going to start coming down and changing colors. And also I can change the color, make it a little bit darker on this side. I can make a little dark color over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to start and make it even darker on the top over here. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to start changing color. Get a little bit more yellow. Get some blue. Now you can see that the color turned into a little bit more green. I'm going to connect that right here and put it up a little bit. Like that, that's good. Look 
analyze the information and then paint. Now I'm going to get some darker, I'm going to get some red color and a little bit more blue color. Okay, there's two color. I make it really dark. I'm going to get some yellow color. Here we go. Now this color also pretty dark. Now here we go. And coming through on this side, the great idea, the great reason to use the masking that is we don't need to worry too much about leaving the the white color for the bird instead just focus on the background okay that's good like that and here we go now i'm gonna go through it here we keep going get a little bit more blue color a little bit more red color now make it even darker now i'm gonna put it right here darker a little color thicker get the blue color now you can see this is very dark now here we go have some color over here some dark color over here and put some dark color at the front over here make it look fun okay this way into wet whatever you put in here is going to be soft like that and some color coming out over here keep going and I'm gonna get some green color so get some yellow and here we go like that and we first put the green color and then we're gonna add some darker color after you drive okay we're gonna put some thicker green color over here take a look the green color in the middle over here let it drive before we come back to do uh, more changes the paper almost dry, so this is the good time. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, blue and the red color together. And I have this color pretty dark. Let's see. Okay, now let's take a look. I'm going to have it sum up the line like this. Okay, here you go. That's the ripple, like that. And also have some color over here and some ripple over here. Just use it really, really big, bigger brush stroke like that. And here we go. Some coming this way. Nice. That's good. And the top over here, I'm going to make it a little bit softer. So make it a little bit. Just uh, softer. Okay, now here we go. Now I'm going to have a little bit color over here too. A little bit darker. Like that. Here we go. I'm going to come in out over here. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look over here. I have some darker color. Push it down and Take a look how those shape look and the ripple like that. Here we go. A little shape. Settle the warm color for the reflection. Now I'm going to start doing some lifting for some lighter area. So for example, I need to make sure that is this sharp enough. I have the technique demonstrations on how to use these two brushes. I uh, just go into the enjoyingart.com slash brushes. You can see the link to that video. And take a look over here. I'm going to start lifting a little lighter color. I'm just going to lift it up. Okay, just use the hair. Just use the tip of this brush. Make sure I also have enough water so you can lift up the color easily. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna also do a little lifting over here. Okay, a little bit around oval shape. That's good. We do a little lifting for the reflection of the two legs. So I'm gonna lift a little bit over here. I'm gonna set a little bit red color. 
I'm going to take a look at a little line over here. Like that too. The paper already completely dry. Now I'm going to lift up the masking fluid. Okay, here you go. Start from this corner. There you go. Now we can just even just a little bit all the way coming in. Okay, there we go. That's good. Ooh, how easy, huh? Here we go. And continue. Now, there's quite a bit of small shape with dots like that. And making sure you remove everything. That's created by the two brush. That's good. Now that's good, successful. All the masking already removed. Now just take a little bit red into. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna put it right here. Coming like this, that's good. And then coming in over here, a little the triangle. Right here, when I have some red color. Now we can come to the top over here. I'm going to get the red color and the blue color together. So make some really dark color. Okay, that's good. Now take a look. The tip over here, a little bit light. Okay, so a little tip, a little light. Also the tip of the feather, a little light. That's good. Now I'm going to get a little bit of water. Now here we go. Coming over here. Coming over. Okay. Now I'm gonna have a little bit, just a little gray color. Now coming over, and this gray color have a little bit red. Got a little bit red. Like this. That's good. Now I'm gonna have this lighter gray color continue. Leave the area that need to be lighter or white. Okay, look at it. Okay, that's good. A little bit shape over here and keep going. And here we go. This gray color, keep going over here. Okay, that's coming. Keep coming. That's good, it's fun. Coming down over here, that's the top of the head. Just gonna make sure it, this color is gonna help to convince that's the way to the top of the head. Like that. This, that's good. Okay, that's perfect. Now coming over the back and seeing the back over here. Have a little big shape like that. Now you have to observe and watch and then apply the color. Okay, that's good. A little bit here. And that's need to be darker. We'll come back a little bit darker. Could have a little bit green because it looks the colors at the bottom is green. I'm gonna start coming here, a little bit green, like that. I'm gonna start 
Just a little gray like that and start continuing the color transition. Okay, a little bit like this. Here you go. Set a little red brown color to the lake. I'm gonna set a little color, mix it with this. Okay, that's good. Take a look at the lake over here. That's good. Okay, a little bit darker, brown color. Mix a little blue together. Here we go. Very nice. Come back to do the details. Okay, on this side, I have a little bit of this, a little bit darker color. That's good. Like that. Here we go. Coming over here. That's good. That's the foundation. At the same time, I why don't I also use this same color? Have it a little reflection over here. Here you go. Set a little darker color on the wings. Get a little red and with the blue color. Take a look here. That's good. This little dark color over here. Let's take a look. Pay attention. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's N over here. And there's another dark color over here. And look again. N over here. I'm also going to have a little intermediate color. A little bit softer over here. So don't need that much contrast at the end over here. So this, the tip of the wing looks pretty nice. And over here I can show there is the feather underneath as well. Okay, now I'm gonna set a little bit detail. It's a little bit warmer. Right here, you can see that now it's one, two, a little bit warmer. Two, three, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit for the leg. Okay, here you go, make a little bit darker. And on this side, I have a little bit shadow side. I'm gonna have a little bit like that, that's good. Now take a look at in the middle, so we can make this leg look like Translucent. Let's make it very interesting like that. A little bit over here too. Walking into the water. Here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit, a little bit green color in the middle, and a little green color coming in from the side. Like that. That's good. And the middle over here have a little bit green, showing there's the water. Uh, that don't make it all, all merged together. Okay, have a little bit, the water on the top over here, a little bit lighter. That's the edge. It'd be very important to keep it light. Also, the very light color over here. Take a look at the shape. That's good. Like coming in over there. I'm gonna merge this color over here, but the top over there also I have a little bit middle tone color, and here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more contrast by having a little bit green, dark green, and blue color. Here you go, like that, and under here like this, and here we go. and a little bit color. That's good. Some texture we can enforce it a little bit later, like that. Now I'm gonna have a little blue color. All right, I'm gonna have quite a bit of blue color. Here we go. Now over here, I'm gonna have a little blue color like that, maybe too bright, but a little blue gray color. Here you go. So make this look a little bit different from the water. 
Now over here, I'm going to have a little bit, very light color in the middle. Over there, that's good. And I have some very light color, like this. Good. Keep that, and the rest, we can shade it a little bit darker tone. So the light color will stand out from the contrast. Okay, like this. Okay, a little blue color on the other side. Okay, a little blue color over here. That's good. I'm gonna also have a little white color dot over here. And let's take a look. On the front over here, have a little blue color. And also, the blue color turn into a little bit uh, the green color. Let's take a look. Over here, a little green color. And look at that. And have some light color. Isolated. White shape. Okay. Like that. And the top over here have a little bit blue. So I have a little bit blue on the top over here. Okay, like that. I'm going to add a little green color next to it. Okay. That's good. A little bit darker. Blue color. Like that. Here we go. A little bit. And a little bit blue color over here. Okay, that's good. Okay, some of the shape over here. You can make a little shadow side. Okay, a little big shadow. That's very good. A reflection down over here and this. And we can add a little bit orange -ish color in the middle over here, like that. And make that a little bit softer. Okay, a little green color, the blue color. Here you go. Like that. This color is very blue grade, so it's very nice. I'm gonna put this color over here, blue color. Here you go. And the edge over here, I'm gonna get a little bit um the uh water, the color and the water softly blended in. That's good. When I have a little bit a little details, a little movement, a little small shape over here. That's good. Like that. And the middle over here, we're gonna have some of the green color. So first I'm gonna set a little green color over here too. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. Now it look more and more like a water. So I'm gonna have a little bit warmer color. And the green and the warmer water. That I'm gonna set this color in the middle over here. You may be thinking about that. How can you see that color? You know, by comparing, okay? Comparing with the color next to the color and comparing the colors in uh, somewhere else in a different part of the painting. So you can find out, oh, there's a need to have a little bit more red, and then you're gonna know. Okay, okay, like that. I'm gonna have a little bit darker, a bit darker next to this, so I can make that, this smaller blue shape, a little bit more standing out, a little bit more isolated. Okay, that's good. Like that, have a little shape. Here you go. A little bit darker underneath. And the top over here also a little bit darker. Like that. Here we go. Like that. That's good. Okay. Have a little bit softer over here. I'm going to move that a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. Now that's how we deduct, divide the shape. By analyze it carefully. And if you want some light shape stand out a little bit more, you better have some areas 
a little bit darker. So, especially the areas next to it. Okay, that's good. Now this look better and better. Now take a look at the water coming up. Uh, we need to have a little bit green color. Here we go. A little green color, but leave the some white color. It's so gonna need to analyze it a little bit carefully. Okay, don't cover all the white space. That's good. And leave a little bit white. And somewhere just need to be lighter. And then and going to be a little bit darker. Here we go. Like that coming down. And then the bottom over here have a little bit darker the green color. Like that. That's good. Now the last thing we're gonna work on, that will be the eye. Let's take a look. We're first going to have some darker red. I'm going to draw the line. Okay, take a look here. There's almost like a triangle, kind of round shape. Okay, think about how you're going to lay your brush. This is very important in the entire painting. This is almost like that's most critical. Okay, take a look. That's good. I'm gonna have it a little bit more thin line. And coming to the bottom over here, very thin. Here you go. That's good. And coming up over here, that finished the outside. Okay, now I'm gonna put a, a dark circle color in the middle. I'm gonna take this color, should be dark enough. But we're just going to put it into the middle of that shape. But we still need to leave the uh, enough light color around. So I'm gonna start pointing into the middle of this. Okay, start expanding it as we need it. Okay. That's good. Very little gray color over here showing the structure. And then this painting is finished.